Today on Corporal's Corner, we're going to be discussing the mullen plant. So stick around. What we have in front of us here is the mullen plant. All right, this is a biennial plant, meaning it has two growth stages over a two-year period. The first year are these broadleaf bouquets you see here in front of me. The second year is followed by a green leafy stem that flowers during the summer season. What I want to do is I want to get a close-up for material identification of this plant, and then we'll go into some uses. Let's get started. In the first year of this biennial plant, we see a bouquet here, a basil rosette, if you will, of soft, velvety, fuzzy leaves. You all can see that. All that soft fuzz will come into play later on. It's important that you get the identification of the first year of growth for this plant. The second stage, or second year, of this biennial plant involves a long stem of seeds that eventually flowers during the summertime and can reach heights of six foot. Once the plant dies, it leaves behind this long stem and brown leaves. The leaves can be crushed and used as tinder. They can also be smoked to relieve respiratory illnesses such as asthma. And the long stem can be used as a spindle for a hand drill. That in a nutshell is the mullen plant. This is found across North America and it's typically found in wash beds or ravines uh, where there's high concentrations of water or where water flows. I found this wedged in with a bunch of willow and mugwort. Um, so you can see that I'm, I'm in a wash bed or ravine anyways right now. Water flowed through here at one point. Again, this is a biennial plant, so we have two growth stages right here in front of us. Um, what I want to cover right now is practical uses for this plant. That means uh, practical field applications and also medicinal um, field application. Is this uh, plant edible? Yes, it is, but due to the fur or the fuzz that's on this, it makes it undesirable to most people. What you can do is you can eat this in small quantities by boiling it down or adding it with other plants. So, I mean, that's good to go. If you had to eat it, you could. Another field use would be the dry stock that I have here in my hand. As I mentioned earlier, this is a great spindle for a hand drill. I've got mine right here. Um, medicinal uses for this plant, Native Americans, as I mentioned earlier, used to dry the leaves and smoke them for uh, respiratory illnesses. Uh, the leaves are recognized by herbalists at, uh, in a form of a tea um, to help respiratory congestion. So obviously there is validity in what the Native Americans chose to do and what modern science has. Um, also, Native Americans used the seeds from this plant as a fish paralytic so they could toss them into the water and catch the fish. Um, so as you see, there's many uses for this plant. There's probably quite a few I didn't cover. There's one important thing that I want to cover, though, for a field application. And the fuzz on this, almost like a velvet, it's very soft. So this right here is nature's toilet paper. Trust me, don't want to leave home without it. So my use for this, carry this with you if you find it. You can blow your nose with this or wipe the other regions with no discomfort. So again, this is the mullen plant biannual plant, first year, second year. Hope you all learned something today. So with that, 